four great stops in Niagara Falls, New York. It's not all about the falls, but we will be going to Niagara Falls State Park. Let me show you the way to the four great stops. Stop one, the Niagara Power Plant. Stop two, Devil's Hole State Park. Stop three, Whirlpool State Park. And stop four, everyone's favorite Niagara Falls State Park. Did you know this is America's oldest state park? There's so much to learn and see at Niagara Falls. You'll want to hang on for stop four. Travel across America with me. Park in the vast parking lot and head to the front doors of the power plant. It's free. Grab your pass and head towards the escalators and up to the grand hallway that leads across the highway to the exhibits. Filled with informative and interactive exhibits, this is a great place for students, young and old, to go and learn more about electricity and power. And of course, the famous men that are behind the scenes of power, Thomas Edison, Nikola Tesla, and Ben Franklin. James Watt? You may also access the outside, where there is great observation of the Niagara River. Storyboards explain about what you're looking at. What is this power plant? And yes, there is a power plant on both sides of the Niagara River, the Canadian side and the American side. We rode the escalators down to see more exhibits. And one of the fun ones was an argument going on between Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison. You'll want to watch more about Nikola Tesla in my video. The link is in the description description below. There are four great stops related to Nikola Tesla and his dream of what he wanted to do as a young boy here at Niagara Falls. You can find out if that dream was realized. One of the things that was very interesting was information about the collapse. Yes, in 1956, a rock slide destroyed the Shokoff power station 3B and C and sent water gushing from the shattered penstocks. Crazy, I had never known about this. Lots of great information. Of course, it's about power. Kilowatts, volts, amps, you know, all those kinds of things. Let's go to the Niagara Scenic Parkway. There are easy trails and bike routes all along this beautiful parkway. Stop two, Devil's Hole State Park. The trails are open dawn to dusk. And wait till you see stop three, Whirlpool State Park. This was simply gorgeous. We went to the bottom, we went to the top, and we also went over to get views from the Canadian side. You'll want to see stop three. And of course, stop four. Wait till you see all the rainbows that were crossing the falls, Niagara Falls, the American side. But now to stop two. To reach the Devil's Pool, you take a short trail down a few steps. Really cool views of the Niagara River from Devil's Hole. Back on the trail to stop three. Did I mention that you can rent bicycles? It is so handy to rent these bicycles. Gorge View and the Whirlpool State Park. It's a lovely trail. You can hear the rushing water and there are rapid rides and you can hear the people just hollering as they're going through on the rapids along the river. We took the leisurely walk along the rim trail. We were trying to reach the Whirlpool Rapids Trail. And we found it. But you know what? It involves a quarter mile of stairs to enter and exit to a grand overlook. These stairs, the switchbacks, they were grueling and straight down. That was the longest quarter mile I've ever taken. But the views of the river are gorgeous. That water is so deep blue. But it is dangerous. You do not want to enter these rapids or this river. Oh, look. That's the Canadian gondola ride. That looks like fun, doesn't it? Please be sure to subscribe. We made it to the Whirlpool. I don't think too many people do this. There were a few people going back and forth on the trail. We were all trying to figure out how to get back up to the top and not take that grueling staircase, but we found out you really have to take the grueling staircase back up. We could see the rim view from here, but this was definitely unique. And there's some rock hopping along the trail. And look what we found. These two creepy crawly things. Okay, 
back up these stairs to the top. Let's get back on the parkway and head to the Whirlpool State Park, the rim section, the Niagara Gorge Rim Trail. This is going to be much easier. Gorgeous views of the Whirlpool. Stop four is Niagara Falls, what you've been waiting for. Do not forget to subscribe. Thank you. Now, Niagara Falls State Park. It's the American Falls, a visitor center, the way to the Maid of the Mist, an observation tower, which let me make note here, which is included with Maid of the Mist and is behind a paywall. And then there's Prospect Point and a gift shop and cafe, of course. It's a lovely park. They have several parking areas. We parked in lot one which is nearest to the International Bridge and to the main section of the park and visitor center. There are additional parking lots on Goat Island for those of you who do not want to walk across to Goat Island. But Goat Island is one of the highlights with some of the best views of the falls. We headed straight to Goat Island because I wanted to find the Tesla statue. Be sure to watch my video on the four stops of Tesla, two on the American side and two on the Canadian side. The link is in the description below. While on Goat Island, we're also going to go to Luna Island and Three Sisters Islands and see Terrapin Point. It's amazing. It's why people go to Niagara Falls, the American side. Tell me in the comments below if you have been to Niagara Falls. We're just flip-flops on the ground on an unclassic road trip through Niagara Falls. Look at these guys. I guess this is the greeting committee. The summer daytime flows 75,000 gallons of water a second. The crest line is 1,100 feet and the height is 176 feet. While I show you pictures of the falls, I want to tell you a little bit about Niagara Falls State Park. As I mentioned earlier, it is the oldest state park in the United States and it is located in downtown Niagara Falls. Thanks to Napoleon Bonaparte's brother spending his honeymoon with his American bride there, the majestic and dynamic falls are hailed as the perfect honeymoon spot. The park comprises over 400 acres with almost 140 acres underwater. The park offers all kinds of scenic footpaths through the well-landscaped park. While there, on the American side, you can get right at the brink of the American Falls and Broadville. Terrapin Point places you within yards of the rushing Horseshoe Falls on the U.S. side. Blowing mist is all part of the experience at Niagara Falls. And this is a viewpoint across over to Canada. And yes, we had lunch in the revolving restaurant in the Skyline. See more in the next video on four stops on the Canadian side of the Niagara River. And there's always historical information wherever you go, of course. This is Lafayette's tour. On June 5, 1825, General Lafayette, abolitionist and human rights advocate, was escorted to Goat Island by Mr. Porter to see the falls. This is part of the Lafayette Trail mapping the farewell tour. I have just posted a video on women's voting rights advocate Susan B. Anthony and her great friend Frederick Douglass, the famous abolitionist. The link to that video is also in the description below. Do you see the Canadian boat down there? They have one that's just like the Maid of the Mist, but it goes deeper into the Canadian Falls. And yes, we did ride the boat into Horseshoe Falls. That's the Canadian Falls. They're called Horseshoe Falls. So see more in the next video on four stops on the Canadian side of the Niagara River. If you don't want to walk and you don't want to take your car, there is a great trolley ride to take you to all the key stops around the state park. Oh, and here are those snakes. Northern water snakes. I guess that's one of the guys we saw when we were at the Whirlpool Trail. Danger, no water entry. Stay off the railings. We walked this lovely path in the center of Goat Island to cross over to get to see the Tesla statue. Find the Tesla statue at Stedman's Bluff behind Cave of the Winds. Fabulous views of the American Falls and Bride Vale Fall in the foreground. Don't forget to subscribe. Look, you can take a ride in this balloon. We took a ride in that balloon years ago. The weather turned really bad really fast on us and sort of ruined that ride and made it a little bit more dramatic than it needed to be. So if the weather's great, take a balloon ride. It is tethered. It's great to go to Niagara Falls State Park. Established 1885. And this is the uh, sort of hidden sidewalk to Canada to cross Rainbow Bridge to get over there. And that's what we did several times. And we'll be taking you through the gates and over the bridge to the Canadian side of the Niagara River. Flip-flops on the ground. 
and classic road trip. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.